Warthog Princess with another Vera Bradley haul. This one is mostly new items um, from the retail side and the new release that just came out. And I got two new items from eBay as well. So let's look at those first really quick. These come from Treasures on Hickory Hills, my friend Jan's eBay store, Jan Hair Biz. Um, I bought from her in my last eBay haul. I did buy the little fishy coin purse. Um, anyways, long story short, she's got a great store and a lot of good things. And we're just going to unwrap this together. So nice little ribbon. Actually well wrapped. There's her card. And then I got this little, uh, okay. My family growing up, we played cards. Oh, that was our big game nights was cards because we really couldn't afford any of the fancy games and all that. So we'd shuffle together a deck of cards of mixed decks, whatever we could to get a deck and we'd play. Anyways, life of a poor child, right? <laughs> so this is the Cut the Deck Simply Violet, which is from Vera Bradley. It's this adorable little cards case. And inside is two card decks. I think there's a magnet in there too, which is perfect. Um, but look, oh wow, this pattern is just so pretty. I just love purple. And this is something I don't have anything in, so it was novel for multiple reasons for me. Um, but two brand new decks, and let's pull this out. So the two patterns, inside and outside pattern, with the purple paisleys. So, very cool. I haven't decided if I'm actually gonna play with these or not. You know, maybe someday, but not right away. Um, but I, I love cards. I have a drawer full of cards of all sorts of cool decks. And yeah, so this is super cute. I actually ordered a couple more of these on eBay. So we'll see if that collection just grows and fills the drawer even more. But so thank you, Jan. This is, it's perfect. And I'm really excited to add that to the collection. All right, and this other item from Jan is this cute little, um, Oh, there's something else in here. Okay, another card. A note. Thought you might enjoy this. I can't wait to get back to cruising and camping. Oh, me too, me too. That's so sweet, Jan. Okay, so first let's look at what I bought and then we'll look at what I got. Okay, this little thing is just, I saw it and it was too adorable. And I don't actually know what it is. I mean, I remember looking at the name on it. It's like a a little cosmetic thing. It's made in China, so it's not truly vintage. I don't even know the name of this pattern now. I'll, I'll get back to you in the remarks down below. I'm like, I should have done some research before I opened this up. I did know it at the time I ordered it, but it, it, it's just this little, this little cosmetic. It's sort of like a miniature version of the Home and Away, and there's no pockets inside or anything. It's just a simple little zip around, single zipper. And it's like this cylinder shape and this little handle. It's just so cute. I thought of so many things I could use this little thing for, but most probably it will be like an accessory piece inside a handbag. One of my, you know, big handbags, um, tech or whatever can go in here really nicely. So I just thought, well, it's black and it has these pretty little floral paisley pieces. And you can see those. And it's, it's great. So, how to get that. And let's see what this is. This is I Love Eco Little Notebook Plum Petals. Oh no, I do love the notebooks. The purse size notebooks are perfect. And Eco, I don't know, this is some special edition Vera thing they put out. It has has this little straw bow on it. I'm gonna take that off. I love these little notebooks for purses and I love purple. So this Jan is so cool. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so it is, it's just, it's a little notebook and it has a pretty inside cover and the pages are all just so cute. And this is the older version. So the pages are not perforated. And if that's the older version, that probably means it will fit in my little passport wallets. Oh, anyways, so perfect. Thank you. Oh, I love surprises. That's so fun. Oh, that was perfect. I did also just buy some more things from Jan. So we'll be hearing more about Jan in a little while. Uh, okay, I need to stay off eBay because once you crack the seal, it's kind of dangerous. The haul. 
Let's start with readers. Okay, story time. I don't wear glasses yet, but if you've been watching, you kind of got the story. I'm like this close. And when I was coloring some fine things the other day, I busted out my like 1.5 readers from Vera, which I had pre-bought because I know someday we're all gonna need them and I'm getting up to that age where maybe that's gonna be sooner rather than later. And anyway, they worked great. So I thought, well, I better get some stronger readers for the future. So again, one step ahead of myself, but so I actually bought three pairs because I don't do anything half-assed, but the first pair I got, these are the Courtney readers in 2.5 in Cloud Vine. Now, I'm sure these will make the world look wonky, but I got them anyways. The readers come with these soft um, covers and they're really nice. They have a, it's a, it's like a neoprene is inside with just a cotton outer. Anyways, they're nice little thing, very protective and very decorative, very clearly Vera. So that matches the reader. So Cloud Vine, and these are so pretty. I think these are just really classy. So first of all, yep, it says 2.5 right on the front. Oh, it was, it was like Coke bottles. I cannot see. Okay, so I have to get up this close to make it not all blurry, so really not very usable for me just yet, but someday, someday not that far probably, but look how pretty the sides are. So you have the cloud vines, and then the front you have this blue, it goes from like dark, and then it grades down to like a white clear. So that's really cool. These are really nice, and they're comfortable. But they're going to go in the, in the closet for quite a little while yet. So. They do come with a little case. I do think that's really classy. I'm gonna put it right back in its thing, but you sometimes want more protection. So I got the matching reader's case in Cloud Vine. That's just the tag inside, but these are soft inside as well. And nice closure. So I got those, that's one. Yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna put my phone on silent. Sorry about that. And then the second pair I got is in Regal Rosette. These are the Tina readers, a 2.5 again. And once again, they come with a little case. This case is similar, but slightly less robust. I don't know, it just feels a little bit thinner, but nice, pretty purples. I do like this pattern. It is a little bit busy for me on some of the bigger things, I think, but I do love purple, so here we go. And these are a completely different style of readers. So here's the side. This part looks similar, but different shape and different um, size of the frames there. But the front is these little like, no kidding, readers looking front to them. And oh boy, same thing. Yeah, if I get this close, it's clear. It's probably not normal, but I can read this just fine, clear myself, and yeah, it's fine. So, once again, one step ahead. So that's the readers. And, oops, I put that in backwards. Put them back the way they came and put them aside. Now, I did not get the Regal Rosette case. This time I elected to go with the Deep Night Paisley just because I thought it was a little more diversity and I already have some other purple cases back there. So I got the that and it has purple. So to me that still totally matches. And then the third pair of readers I got are the Susan readers in Holland Garden. Again, different style, different shape and whatnot. Still 2.5. Here's the Holland Garden case. Same. And it's like the thinner one like the Regal Set. So just slight variances in construction. And these are a different style as well. These are more of just a plain frame with the pattern on it. And it's, it's really kind of cool. And then the fronts are actually a gray, but like a translucent gray. And kind of a nice shape to the glasses. Ooh, these are the most comfortable of the three actually. And yeah, no change to the thing. These are not definitely not needed yet. And just by putting them on, I totally fogged them up. My face is hot. Okay, blah, 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 readers. They are really great. Um, I figure, you know, everybody talks about, yeah, I have readers everywhere. I have them in my car, in my pocketbook, on the, you know, 
in my pocket pouch. I, and I never have my glasses. Well, I've got three pairs. I figure that's a start in the right direction. Because someday, you know, I plan to get old and enjoy life for a lot longer to come. So there we go. <laughs> Enough about readers. Let's talk about some new and exciting things. So Vera's most recent release, they came out with the Hanging Garden pattern and Sunshine Garden and French Paisley, Bon Bon Medallion, Bon Bon Ditsy, and I think there's one other I am totally missing, but a variety of patterns. And I kind of didn't like the Hanging Garden one. It's very like Water Bouquet. Come to find out that's because the same designer made both, and that is, makes sense, and that's fine. They're both beautiful patterns, but I just wasn't really into the Water Bouquet. It was just too light for my taste. And, um, I don't know, something about the space thing. Anyway, the hanging garden is better and I do like it. It's just still that really light background that I'm not really into. But we're gonna talk more about that when we get to the last item. But the sunshine garden, really not interesting to me because I'm just not a yellow. I'm just not into yellow. That being said, look what I got, sunshine garden. <laughs> Sometimes I crack myself up. But this was the only pattern this was offered in and this is a brand new style. This is the, what is this called? The Grand Travel and Cosmetic, or no, sorry, Large. Let's see what they call it. This is the Reactive Large Travel Cosmetic in Sunny Garden. Okay, so I brought this out because if you watched my log video, I just got um, some trolleys. And this um, online, the picture, it looked like the exact same thing. It's not the exact same thing, but it is very, very similar. So we'll go through this just as a quick review, but then next video, we will do a comparison for the cosmetics bag I'm currently using, like my toiletry bag, and then the two trolleys and this one side by side by side, and we'll look at them all together because it's very interesting um, sort of comparison. Right, but looking at this, now before we go through this bag itself, I've got some stuff inside. Let's look at that stuff first. So the first item is the Travel Takes Clear Toothbrush Case. It says on it, brush it real good. It's like a clear sparkly vinyl. It's got the rounded ends. And this is in the Hanging Garden pattern for the trim here and the color background. Um, yeah, and it's just, it's sparkly. So it's kind of interesting. Not as sparkly as I thought. It just sort of makes it look hazy until you look up close. But um, yeah, so this has a, it's not actually deformed on the end, it just folds under. It's a nice shape to it. You're supposed to put your toothbrush and toothpaste. So, I got that out just to see, you know, what would fit. So this is just a regular tube of toothpaste. So yeah, I'm a Crest kid, that's fine. Um, so that fits. And then my toothbrush, normally when I'm traveling these days, I put this, it's a biopod, and it has this, um, you know, bio-safe disinfectant thing in there so it keeps it like germ free ideally so I've been using that and that fits in here no problem at all yeah let me turn that around because there you go so those two things fit there is room for more sometimes like on my most recent trip I also took a different toothbrush holder this is the one I was using before the biopod and in this one right now I have a water pick you know the um, the electric one and so just to, sometimes you double brush and anyway. So I put that in there as well, just to see, what, can I take all the things I normally take? And you absolutely can. So there's both toothbrushes in their cases and the full, full size tube of toothpaste. So if you wanted to mix it up and do different things, you absolutely can. That's just what I have in there. Alternatively, this is a big bag. You can use it. And what I actually bought it for, since I have nice toiletries bags and stuff already, I did not buy this for that purpose, actually. I thought, well, I'll try it, but, but it bulks up the way your things are in the bag. You hold more without the extra case. You'll see in a minute. Okay, but this is the next one. This is the Travel, Te Travel Tech's razor case, and it says, shave the day. It's a funny little thing. And it's the same construct, it has that sparkly clear vinyl and the trim from Hanging Garden. And it's not a good snippet of the pattern, actually. So it's, you don't get a good pattern glimpse out of it, but 
This one zips all the way around to butterfly open like this. And let's see how many razors fit in there. All right, look back when Vera did their collaboration with Venus, they came out with disposable and reusable razors. So I actually thought the disposables were prettier than the handles on the reusable. And I already had reusables that I use for, for travel anyway. So coincidentally, these are the razors I already used. So all I did was buy the Vera Vary variation. There's three different handle patterns on the disposables. So there they are, the three different ones. All very similar. I don't even know what pattern name that, that is, but it's cute. So same razors I normally buy. It was no change for me. So I bought two packs of the three packs um, and I've just been using my others and when they come up in the rotation, then I'll use them. But, but let's look. So one easily fits, two fits kind of side by side there. And then let's see the third one also because I tested it last night and three do fit. Now, what I was saying about the toothbrush, toothpaste, and taking up extra space, this would be worthwhile to put in my toiletry bag because when you're looking at the razors, first of all, this doesn't take up too much space and it does collect them together instead of having a bunch of razors loose in your bag. Um, but they have these little protective plastic things these don't stay on. They come off in your bag, bouncing around all over. And then when you're digging in your bag, you run the risk of cutting yourself on those little blades. So this little case is perfect for that purpose because now you're protected. Your stuff stays together, it stays, covers on, and it is protective. So definitely going to use this in my toiletry bag with my regular stuff. And again, we'll see that in the next video, how that looks. Um, so that's a great addition. That being said though, I normally use this kind of razor, which funny enough is the same razor head. So let's look at this again. All right, and we're gonna take these out anyway. So this same razor, and this is a travel Venus. So. Same, same razor company, but this is a travel version. I love this razor, by the way. It is my perfect travel companion. I don't always travel with these. In fact, when I have these with heads, I don't. I don't, I take this. This has air holes on the back, which if you're using your razor, even if you like just tap it on your towel and dry it and dry everything off, it's still gonna have some moisture in there and you want that to ventilate so it doesn't rust this does not have ventilation so what i would recommend for the future is go ahead and put oh what came off on here some fuzz um is put like on the back instead of being clear vinyl clear vinyl maybe on the back put one of those um plastic mesh like a really fine one like on the well we'll talk about what kind but but a really fine mesh or something so that you have a robust container, but you have that breathability for the items inside. That's my recommendation for that. But, so does this do me any good if I already have my little case? It does, it does, and here's why, because the shape of it, this little case fits perfectly right in here, and then you take two of the replacement heads you know how long is your trip? Do you use your razor hooks more than once? I do, like once or twice and then recycle, but. Okay, so you put two little razor head replacements and my little kit, and guess what? It all fits perfectly in my little case. Ta-da! I would still totally do that. So there you go. Um, very nice. So depending on how long my trip, I might do this and these, but change the way it's stored. So perfect little case and happy with that. So let me take that back out again because we're gonna do something with this stuff later. Okay, so that's those items. And then the last item I got from the Travel Takes is the Travel Takes Clear Tech Case. And this says, charge me up on the front. This one's a little bigger piece um, with a totally different purpose. So it's supposed to be a tech case. Couple thoughts. Even while I was buying it, because it opens really wide, which I was concerned I wouldn't be able to get down in there. 
you can. It's a little more north-south. It's perfect. But tech, you know, not just for collecting tech. I generally like to protect and collect my tech. So I usually like a padded pouch for my tech, but it depends on, again, what I'm doing, where I'm going, how I'm, you know, getting around and whatnot. So I thought this would be great for that, but it might be great for just so many other little knick-knacky things that you want to either store or put in bags. Um, so I got it. I, I just think this is going to be a very, very versatile piece for me and great for like beachy items or traveling you know it could be a nice 311 case for example it's a little smaller but for short trips maybe that's what you need is a tinier one yeah so many ideas all the time so many ideas okay so those are the pieces for cosmetic inside now let's talk about this bag itself first of all it is reactive material so it is um, water repellent it doesn't have any feet on the bottom or any plastic covering, but it is wipeable material, so there's that. The back is a pocket. It has two magnets, two magnets closure. Um, no organization inside, no plastic. It does have this like um, um, nylon lining on the back, and this is just repellent. So nice, easy pocket. Then, the top has a pocket as well. This is a zipper pocket with plastic, clear plastic front and just nylon on the back. It's a very functional top part of the case there. It does have a handle on top as well, which is just a nice bright yellow nylon. Inside is plastic lined all around. You have two slip pockets that are mesh in the back and you have three more smaller ones in the front. Um, these are great, perfectly functional pockets. And that's pretty much it for the main compartment. There is another compartment on the front, and this one has a double zipper. This is the chunky zipper on these two pouches. It comes around, opens up. So you have this brush storage here, or if you're not using it for cosmetics and whatnot, you could put pens, pencils, um, other art supplies, paint brushes, you could put your crocheting hooks, so many different ways you could use it. But, you know, if I was using this as a toiletry bag, I would disregard that and put other stuff in this pocket. That's just me, because I don't have a bunch of brushes. So, but it is plastic lined, which is nice. So you can, again, use it for a lot more things. Um, and if you are putting things in the pocket and you don't want them to fall out because there's no gussets on there, I would rather see gussets there so that it would be a more functional front pocket for when you don't need those items and that's just me all right oh my goodness it's empty so it doesn't maneuver very well okay so there's two end pockets these have regular zippers and they're like on inside out i don't know why they did them that way i don't mean they're wrong they're just that's the way that they're styled i guess that's a thing now is um they're just inside out so you see more of the backing of the zipper versus just the zipper. Okay, so these pockets are just open pockets and they are approximately the same size, but the one on this side is plastic lined, okay, all the way through. And the one on this side is not, it's just nylon. So I'm not sure why they're not both, but okay, it gives you options. And that is it. That is the new Large Travel Cosmetic and Reactive Sunny Garden. We're going to see this again next video when we talk toiletry bags. Let's move on though. All right, next item I got is these Fireworks Paisley socks. Super comfortable standard Vera socks. They're very nice, very, very usable, and very patriotic in this case, but just another pair of socks to add to my sock drawer. Next, I got the all-in-one crossbody wristlet in Fruit Grove. I've pretty much been one by one picking up the, everything in this pattern because I just think it's so cute. It's a navy background, so it goes with all of my navy bags. It'll go with my Fruit Grove, I mean my um, garden picnic mini sling. It'll go with so many things, and it doesn't have to go anyways. I didn't really need another all-in-one, but I wanted it, so... I had to get it. I just couldn't pass up on my watermelons. So there you go. Inside is this cute pink 
And just for reference, if you're not familiar with these, here's my phone. It has a Vera case on it, like the key of Paisley, whatever. And it fits very nicely in that front pocket. And a magnetic snap closure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then you have the crossbody strap and the removable wristlet strap. The wristlet strap is like a faux leather, and the crossbody strap is the cotton fabric. This has two zipper areas, and it has in the front is our standard, there you go, and there's your dollar slip. And, <clears throat> excuse me, clear ID window on this side, and one, two, three, three slips. This side has five slips, then you have behind, 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 and then inside one big pocket. So this is a great functional wallet, a little crossbody to do everything, grab and go. And then the back you have a slip on each side, two card slots, and a middle coin thing. Nice gussets, opens up pretty decent. I think the, the all-in-ones coming up are a little bit different. Not, not coming up in this haul, but coming down the road and like the next releases. I think, from the pictures, they look a little different. All right, this is the Deluxe Altogether Crossbody in Deep Night Paisley. But I, there was a sale and I had coupons and so it was like getting them 50% off in the end. So I got the Deep Night Paisley in cotton and the Deep Night Paisley Neutral in Performance Twill. Now I did obviously intend to get this with something I didn't have Sadly, I don't even remember ordering this. Like, obviously they came in different orders, but I'm like, well, that's kind of redundant, but they're great. And I could see different purposes. Performance Twill is definitely a little bit heavier, so that is something to consider when you're, when you're getting Performance Twill. Not drastically in a small piece like this, but it is. So let's just look at them side by side and go right through them. Um, off the front, this is a metal like placard and this one is a faux leather tab just tagged on on the ends. Inside, let's go front to back. So the performance tool has the ribbed ribbons. There's your faux leather crossbody and a nice patterned pocket. Deep Night Paisley, same faux leather crossbody strap and it's got its pretty interior purple paisleys. I really do like those purples and teals. All right, um, next pocket. Here, let's go ahead and put this away. The, the phone fits, here, before we do that, the phone fits great in these pockets, by the way. Easily zips right up, no problem. I've tested it on my other ones. I have some older lilac medallion, I think it is. Okay, so there's that one and that one. Nice smooth zipper and everything. Second pocket, and this is your main pocket on both wallets. What we have here? We have, okay. Looking at them. Yep, they are the same. So let's look at this one because they're the same. You have two slips. You have three card slots here on each side and three more here. So you have six on each side, side by side, two big open slips. You have a clear ID window right here and a zippered coin space right in the middle. There you go, that's just a scent strip in there. So that's that main pocket. This one, like I said, is exactly the same, except that you have lining in it, but the slips are just a navy nylon on top. So. That's interesting, they didn't just do pattern all throughout, but I think the nylon does help things slide in and out a little bit easier sometimes, so for what that's worth. That is the main pocket, so same, same. And the back, this is your third section, if you will. You have this nice snap on both. You open it up and you have big slip and two, six more card slots, three and three. It is RFID. Same thing over here, one big slip and then six more card slots, three and three. And same. Sorry, I have the hiccups this morning. And this is the coffee. Let's see if this slip, I'm curious, does it fit the phone? Mm, not mine, just curious. Okay, 
looking down at the rest of it, they both have, they're the same. So we have this checkbook cover, and the cool thing is this is performance tool, so standalone. You have this clear ID window, and you have the Vera Bradley label on it, and you open it up, it's just a checkbook cover. It's pretty simple. One thing about this though, oh no, never mind, I was gonna say. So it does, it opens on the top. Let's say this slide is facing the wrong way, but it actually isn't, it's good. So these were in here with clear ID facing out. There's one more pocket here, it's a zipper pocket. And so you got the whole space down to the bottom and you have the slip here if you're not using this inside. Um, but there you go, it fits right back in there. You got an extra ID window and closes up. This one, like I said, is exactly the same. Ta-da! Same, same. So, very cool. Two deluxe all together. And they're different enough that, okay, it's not identical. I didn't totally screw that up, but okay. The next thing is a pair of accordion wristlets. I do like the accordion wristlets, and obviously I do love purple. So here's the Regal Rosette. This is a cotton variety. It has a faux leather removable wristlet strap. And it is the newer style with that just hook variety. It works fine. And then this spirals. The zipper area is one section. You have a slip on here. Nice coordinating trim down the front and all the way around. I guess that's the back anyways, because there's the tag. So the front all the way around. Pattern placement wise, it's not bad. It sort of forms a, a V towards the, th that's kind of cool, and it does that on both sides. Um, yeah, so it's kind of cool. It's, I'm not sure you can get bad, but you could get better or worse, and I like, this is pretty good. Inside, we'll look at the two insides together, but there's your quick look. I love the accordions, they open up, and they have so much in them. Um, there we go. So that's that one. And then I got the same thing. This one is, well, I don't know about Teddy, it just says performance strip. This one is Park Stripe. I think it has a iconic RFID accordion wristlet. Yeah, I thought it had a different name, but it doesn't. Okay, so same thing. You got a slip on the back. And these slips, by the way, ooh, big enough for the phone, for sure. But to me, I don't like to have my phone in a slip if I'm swinging it around. So if I'm gonna hold it like this, that's totally fine. It's still one-handed, but I tend to not like my phone in things where it can fall out. That being said, the phone does fit, like I would put it in the middle section here, and guess what, it zips inside. Even if you're using this wallet, the phone fits no problem inside the wallet, and that's what I do with it on both of these. Okay, but inside, look at that pretty pattern. I like the interior pattern on the park stripe a lot, so. And speaking of pattern, I'd love to have some, you know, more of the big flowers, but I kind of like it. It's just sort of got the small and the big and some space, and that one's pretty nice on the back. So I don't have a bunch of repeating chops of pattern. It's just a couple nice swaths and no coordinating trim on the Performance Twill version. But there you go. This is all the same on the outside. The only difference on the outside, the ribbon is the ribbed ribbon versus the faux leather loop on this one. Okay, so let's look inside. And I've already looked just once at these and there is one difference. Let me put front to front and we'll go through them. So this one has two big slips and then it has two card slots and two card slots. So four here and four here, then two spaces. Then on this one you have a clear ID window, next section, coin thing, next section. On um, this one is very, very similar. You have your big slips, you have four and four, you got your gaps, and you got your gap and your coin thing. Um, on this one, they're just exactly the same, except this one right here, that is not a single divider, it actually has um, space between it. So that's the only difference. This one doesn't have that, it's just single. So there you go. Same, same, but a little bit different. All right. So just a few more things. 
I know we're getting long. What do we? Oh, 35 minutes. Okay, so on these, there was um, not too much of the new stuff on sale, but the crossbody stuff was. Plus, I had coupons, so I broke up the orders into different things to maximize my savings. That's good Vera math, by the way. But they were doing a free scarf if you spent a certain amount of money. So I got three scarves. I got the Sweethearts and Flowers, which is really pretty. I thought very feminine, nice way. And I'm not going to take them out. I'm going to try and leave things until I use them. That's my new rule because they're just easier to store this way. My rack is full of scarves. I have like 20 scarves on it already. Um, then I got Seahorse, of course. And this one's really cool because it's a very nautical, but yet, you know, it's it's blue and black and white, so it's it's not totally dark. You know, you can dress it up or dress it down. I think it's very thing. And this last one is my favorite. This was absolutely the first one I was gonna grab. It was on my wish list anyway as a single item, and that is the soft fringe scarf in Garden Dream. I just think it's a really classy pattern, and the scarf has like these dots on the one end, so. You really can change the look of the scarf depending on how you wear it and how you shape it. So, super cool. And one thing I'll say is on the scarf, you don't get those like um, subtle blues in the background as much. They are there, and I know you can't see it very well with the plastic, but you can kind of see. Oh, I don't know if you can, but I can. See right there? You see that blue? Well, you can kind of see it, but not very well. Sorry. You'll just have to get one. <laughs> just kidding. Um, if you want some, I can figure that out later. Next item is the magnetic calendar in French paisley. Now, being a fan of purple, I am a fan of the French paisley, and I can't wait till more of it comes out. Today, I just ordered the notebook, so you get a little bit better picture, but we'll see. But this is cool, and I'm gonna open this up because it's actually multiple pieces. And I didn't realize at first when I was looking at this, what it really is. Oops. Okay, so three different pieces. So you, they're all solid, big magnet. So when I thought magnetic calendar, I thought it was gonna be like like the meal planner that had like a cardboard backing and then had a couple of magnets on it. And you would know, but the whole thing is a magnet. That's really, really cool. But the front, very busy month of, and it's dry erase. So, okay, come on dry erase. So it's dry erase, you just write, and then at the tip of it's just a little eraser, so you erase. So this goes for every month, every year, all the time. This you can use for a long, long time. And that's really cool. So I thought that would be great um, just for the visual things or planning my YouTube video. I don't know, so many things you could use that for. And then the other two pieces, you sort of have your weekly to-do list or you could just use it as your daily to-do list if you wanted. And then just a little, hey, don't forget reminder thing. The cool thing about all of these being solid magnets is if you decide you're done using it for its purpose or even as is, you can put pictures on them, you know, like just glue pictures on them and use it as a picture magnet. And with this pretty background and frame, you could do that really kind of neat. Yeah, purpose and repurpose when you're done purposing. That's always good. Okay, so the last item I got, I do have a weighted blanket and it's like a 20 pounder. It's super soft. It has um, ties so you can put a duvet on it, which is also super soft and textured. Really, really love it, but here in Arizona, it's too hot this time of year to use it, so it is put away for the summer. But I thought, well, Vera put out one, and I wanted to try a lighter one, and it's a little on the expensive side, but with a coupon, it, it was more reasonable and right on par with all the other weighted blankets I've seen around. Um, but it's Vera, so hey, I bought a 10 pounder, so I thought a nice, light little comfort blanket for like when you're sick and pukey or something. It's just nice to have a little bit on there. And look at this pattern. This is the floating garden. It is a lot prettier in person than I thought from the pictures on the website. Um, so that is one thing. It's, I'm not, like I said, yellow. I'm not real big on yellows and orange, 
I like all the colors of the rainbow. I really do, and I think Vera does a good job of mixing it up and giving us different presentations. That's just not my, my bread and butter. And this is a lot of yellows and oranges and green and not even my pretty greens. So just not my thing, but I do like the blues and pinks and teals. I like the subtle like water coloring of the background there. That's kind of neat, very artistic to me. I um, mean, I do, it like literally is a floating garden. I think it's very well named for, for a while. Um, yeah, but you can just see all the different florals. I like it. I like it in person. It's more vivid and pretty, and there's Kelly hairs on it already because I slept with it last night. I do need to wash it first, but I just wanted to try it before I did the haul video so I can at least give you a, a quick report. I really like it, and it's smaller than I expected. Yeah, yeah, I can read the dimensions, but I'm a visual person, so it didn't really click until I unwrapped it, but it is a good size for a single person sleeping or resting or whatever. It's not a bed blanket, it's not. My other one could be, but here we go. Before I show you the full size, here's the back of it. It's a pretty interior pattern of floating garden, which is fairly, um, I don't wanna say subtle or neutral, those would be strong words actually, but it's just the couple colors of florals with the dots, like a water looking background. But it goes really well, front and back. So there's your look of it together, front and back. Kind of cool. But it is it is brighter and bolder in person. It's kind of neat. All right, so this blanket is, that's the long direction right there. And there's the end of it. So it's like a perfect like twin bed or one person size, like I said. And I slept very well last night and better than average for me. And I don't know if that's a blanket thing or just I was so exhausted I finally slept, but there you go. So very happy with the blanket. Um, you are supposed to pick the weight of the blanket according to your weight, but yeah, I did that and it's, <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Not to sleep with, comfortable, but to move it around and stuff becomes very cumbersome just getting in and out of bed in the morning. So <laughs> this is a greater option for me for now. and. Even here, I could use it in the summer. So that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed all these new things. And I look forward to giving you some more to see. Talk to you later. Washi washi.